Hello everyone, this is Nightler with Crossbotier. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. It has like a little nice small details here of things. Oh, there are small people over here. Just if you watch very carefully, those are like ceiling windows and you can see people living inside. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, join the Discord maybe later. Subscribe to Cosmo TV Man. Good idea. But not now. Oh, it has multiplayer. Interesting. New. Career, creative, design shifts with unlimited credits and all blueprints unlocked. Build, fight, okay, this sounds interesting. Let's try the career. Combat difficulty, ensign. Uh, invulnerable, <laughs> this is the easiest mode. Captain, take normal damage from, okay, you know what, normal sounds fair. This is kind of, this is kind of my, my area. Economic difficulty, pillar. Architect, what does this mean? Let's see. Resource drop rates increased by 100%. Money rewards increased by 100%. Fame reputation rewards increased by 50%. Hmm, you know what? This is the first time, so I... Uh... No, you know what? Let's go for the authentic experience. Let's go for normal everything. Let's uh, get to the uh, intended developer experience. What they wanted us to, to experience so on the standard difficulty advanced game level. Uh, changing this option will out of the game, blah blah. Galaxy crew <laughs> explosion is coming. This is a good one. Uh, reveal all the question mark icons on the map without having to first uncover them in the fog of war. Interesting, okay. So, this is really if you really hate exploration, just pick up this, this option. Uh, missions give twice the amount of credits, ships cannot be salvaged for resources. Ah, interesting. Can make ship modification anywhere using only grid. So this is more like uh, switching the game to some sort of arcade system. Uh, Galaxy scene. Okay, not interested. Uh, let's go for a uh, bunch of models here. Model L. Highly maneuverable. Remaining funds, 5,000. So do I get like an allocation of funds in the beginning? And I... Oh, this is an ugly ship. I don't like this. Model C. Model S. Looks like one of those uh, arcade-ish fighters from the 90s. 80s even okay so we have s l c the s is a uh, straight speed and offensive fire for defensive shield generator that can block incoming fire uh -huh, so this this one has a shield and this one highly maneuverable and supports free laser blasters that are effective in destroying enemy hmm uh you know what let's go for firepower starting this is like an expansion low custom shit uh not now. I have a bunch of uh, ship uh, designs in pixel art that I did, so I'm told I'm told that this game allows you to inst to upload your own uh, your own um, pictures, and uh, they generate the ship based on uh, your drawing. So you can just pick up a pen, draw a ship, and then import it in the game. That would be interesting to try. <laughs> I would actually try that. Uh, so no, no tutorial. Controlling the camera. Ah, oh, come on, seriously, do you have to explain this? To plan the camera, move the mouse for. Yeah, I know. This is like. Okay. Uh, so you can scroll by touching the edge of the screen or just holding middle mouse button. Uh, wait. Zoom in and out, scroll. Yeah, got it. Flying your ship. Sounds good. Fly our sh your starship, right click anywhere in space, your ship. And my mouse has a problem, I can barely right click. I spilled coffee on, on it last week and uh, yeah, my right click is not functioning properly. Fly your starship, right click, your ship will fly there automatically. Tips, all tutorials can be... Okay, got it. Uh, small cannon platform. Do I have to destroy this? Controlling time. Pause the game at any time. Uh, click the pause button near the center top of the screen. This one. Is there a screenshot? Uh, hotkey space. Oh, this is awesome. Space to pause. Perfect. What I do see though is that the pause is not instant. So it takes like half a second until the pause actually takes place. So maybe you can't, you cannot cheese the game, try to avoid incoming fire like this. Um, okay, to make the time go faster or slower, click these buttons. Can I go backwards this time? <laughs> no, I can't. You can go one one eighth speed. This is my speed right here. This is it. This is 
you know this is how I'm gonna play the whole game and 180 the speed with lots of balls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's good that they have like very sh very slow speed. I like this. To make the time go faster. Uh, okay, I don't care. If you have a trouble clicking on something because it's moving too fast, just okay. Yeah, obviously. Ailing ships and stations. Okay, you can interact with some other ships and stations by hailing them. To hail a ship or station, first click on the comms button. Okay, where's this? Uh, this one. Uh, then click hail. Try hailing the nearby friendly station. Okay, can I can I hail it while am I post? While I'm post, let's see. Ah, so it has this. Ah, ah, and this is interesting. Does it have a limited range? It does. Ooh, this is so cool. Look at this. So you can extend it like a beam. And you can select. Ah, this is very very nice. Very nice touch. A very interesting UI. Well, they could have just made it so you can click something, but no, they had to add. They had to add this nice effect. So this is very thumbs up for this feature. Uh, Toquertos to, to station. Toku, Toku, ah, whatever. To so you can hail someone while you are paused. That's good. Um, friendly stations provide ver various services such as mission list. Through hiring and resource trading. The services will be explained in more detail later. Got it. Missions. Okay. Missions are your primary way of earning credits and fame. Oh, we have fame as well. Okay. Most friendly stations will have a mission board advertising their variable missions. You haven't already held the nearby friendly stations to be this mission. Okay, I just did that. So is this faction conflicts? Are these missions? Mm, so those are missions danger level i guess this is the difficulty uh mission requires attacking the monolith okay so ah this is good so it it warns you that you're gonna lose uh, reputation with another faction good no surprises here like other games so for delivery he missiles okay uh it's a little bit overwhelming though but it's still early access so i understand that the First, the uh, first user experience is not that great yet. Okay, let's pick something easy. Clear your third field. This is interesting. Uh, most missions have a danger level. Okay, I got that. Accept a mission. Select from the list. Accept. We recommend you accept the first level fugitive bounty mission. Where? Ah, this one. Eliminate bottom feeder. <laughs> Eliminate bottom feeder. This sounds like a mission. Yeah, this is the mission class. So we get a bunch of. I guess those are credits. These are fame. Fringe systems resistance reputation. Let's see, is it different here? So you get different types of reputation with different. You get reputation with different different factions. Okay. Location, distance. Okay, let's pick this one up. Let's follow the tutorial this time. I'm I'm gonna be a good boy and follow the instructions, which I rarely do. Uh, accept. New mission. Okay, that was anticlimactic. I guess I'll just close this thing. Uh, got it. So we can see the missions here in the left. Uh, to follow up, nearby missions will automatically be tracked near the top left of the screen. Okay, this one. Many missions will also show the location where you'll need to fly. In order to complete its objective, you may need to zoom out to see it. Click on our objective to center the camera on its location. Got it. You can view all of the current missions by clicking on the career log button near the top left of the screen. Career log button. Uh, where's the career log? Is this, is this it? Yeah. And just press L. Yeah, the tutorial could have just said press L. It would have been easier. But uh, yeah, we have the map here. Ah, pretty basic, not great, but yeah, I get it. It's, it's funny that every system is equally distant from each other, or at least it, it seems to be. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a uh, very uniform pattern of uh, triangles. It looks like a 3D mesh, to be honest. Uh, but it's okay, work in progress, it's understood. Uh, and int 
intronerer. Intronere. Come on, it's not hard to figure out some, some decent pronounceable names for your systems. We don't need to, to, to use like intronerier. Come on, that's but good. Uh, so our mission is here. Fugitive favorite. What happens if I do this? Display the status of the missions in upper left corner, this side. Track his progress without opening the mission log. Can we do that? Let's get doing something. Let's do something. So I was supposed to zoom out. Is this it? This must be it. It has a star next to it. Come on. No signal. Will I get killed if I go there? How fast does it travel? Does it have hyperspace? Do I go to a different planet? Is this a different planet? No, it's the same. Ah, oh, this is the solar system. I wonder if the there's like um, an actual uh, movement of the planets and bodies around their uh, orbiting uh, centers. Page up and page down. Okay, this I'm not a fan of page up, page down. But uh, that's just me. Let's go faster, faster. Mm -hmm. So there's no time for. Pr Wait, what's going on here? Uh, there's a contact. This is an enemy contact. Unknown contact. Okay. Am I moving? Am I paused? What's going on? I was paused. Uh, also, there's no there's no type of parallax. No, nothing uh, in the background to make me feel like the ship is actually moving. This is static background in the in the far far back. Uh, and it seems like those there are those weird eh. there are those weird squares here that apparently act like some sort of uh, parallax substitute so that you can see that you're moving what's this is this like flying piece of waffle or something is this the, the flying waffle What are we doing here? Are we crashing into it or not? I really like the effects. The effects are, are nailed. They just nail the effects. They're amazing. I love it. Okay, I don't know what to do with that asteroid. I guess I don't have I need some mining tools maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go here. Fugitive bounty. Eliminate bounty. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be the one being eliminated here by the amount of red contacts I'm having on the map. Can we squeeze by? Oh, auto saving. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure if they they orchestrated that as part of the tutorial, but it's, it's, oh, here here is the guy. Okay, this is good. We're gonna get away from those uh, red uh, points here. I don't like the red points. <gasps> oh my god. Ooh, this is such a good looking ship look at it actually it looks better from a little bit uh, far away like this it's nice you get up close to too much it's uh. but the graphics the graphics are really good for a 2d game it's yeah, look at these effects look at this this wonderful fire particle effects love it so you don't need to you don't need an unreal engine 5 to, to make a Good looking game. Uh, shots have been fired. Let's see what are we dealing with. So this dude has a big weapon. Lathor Blaster, a highly accurate and versatile weapon that fires single blasts of blasts of energy, dealing moderate damage to enemy ships. Hold Alt to show statistics. Uh, okay. Ah, uh huh. Ooh, so many stats. This is very deep. It has a size. Crew requirement. Okay, so apparently you need crew to operate shit. Command points. Negative. I guess it's taking up command points. Interesting. Maybe it will prevent you from just spamming a lot of OP modules on your ship. This is an interesting mechanic. 
weight. It also has a weight. Interesting. Penetration resist. Minus 2 meters. I don't get it. How is it penetration resist? Is this the penetration is is entered as a negative number and it gets added to the enemy which subtracts from their value maybe damage 400 per shot 500 that's the dps good rate of fire range 260 meter firing arc target speed rotation speed durability oh my god this is so in depth i love it what's this point defense system amazing another point defense system awesome what are these small hyperdrive so there is a uh, hyperdrive in the reactor core can i target something hold on first what what are we doing why is this a mining pickaxe here gather salvage mine resources why is why is it a mining pickaxe we're in space <laughs> seriously you didn't find any either icon that's that's the only icon you found in pickaxe that's cool cool um is there a is there a, a button that i can click to see through my uh my ship i don't know what this does what does this do i don't know this one the map okay what's this missions uh-huh Ooh. what's this it says build new ship no we're not building new ship we are destroying old ship that's how we first destroy all ship, then we build new ship. Uh, look, there's an eye here. Show ship interiors. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Ship interiors. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Look at it. It has armor plates. A hallway. Come on. Absorbs a great deal of enemy weapons fire, protecting a ship's juicy. They are juicy innards. Juicy. Also acts as a lighting rod. Okay. This is structure and this is armor. So you don't need ah and it also has I don't know why it's there's a there's an an eight and then there's a price next to it. I guess that's the price per parcel. And we do have a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns here. We have three times more guns than the other day. Which is good. And look, there's a tiny, there's a tiny crew, crew quarters. Look at this. Ah, and a little dude here. There's a little dude walking around. Wait, shit, we're getting shot at. Never mind. Uh, what's going on here? Are we winning? Attacking the enemy. Okay, let's let's RTFM. Enemy ships that are close enough to detect our radar, but too close to far. But too far to see directly will be shown as pulsating. Where are these? Yeah, I got that. The attack. To attack an enemy starship, right click on it or on its radar blip. Your ship will fly to it and attack. Yeah. The game may have automatic pause to show you the tutorial. Good. Some enemy ships will be too powerful for you to defeat, obviously. Uh, flee and upgrade your ship before attacking them. Good. Ah, this game gives me, uh, gives me like Spaz vibes. You remember Spaz? It was like an old space pirates and zombies game. The first one, not the second one. The second one is shit. The first one, the 2D one, was a cold hit back then. Awesome. I would like to come, go, go back and play it at some point. That would be actually very interesting. I, I would probably revisit it. Uh, let's see now. The other thing that I didn't read. After attacking an enemy, right click again on a particular part of an enemy ship to target your weapons on it. Flip, destroy the enemy starship's reactor or command room to turn it into a lifeless husk. See, now this is... Does the whole ship explode if you destroy the reactor? Like, I'm getting like... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of, of uh, Battletech when you destroy the uh, core of a mech, the whole mech becomes unsalvageable. This would be interesting. That would be cool. I don't think it's the case, but that would be cool. It's too easy. They just target. We're taking some damage here, I think. Are we? Oh, so we lost an engine. Oh my god. Look at look at these effects. Look at this. Let me sh let me slow this down. Let's see. 
Oh, so nice. Ooh, and the sound, and the sound is amazing. Oh man, I love it. The projectiles are different. The the impact is uh, is uh, very meaningful. You can actually see the effects are like you can see the the flat uh, sparks are reflecting off based on the angle of contact. So it's very realistic. I love it. And the debris that be, that's being ejected is based. On and we saw we saw the explosion in slow motion. This is awesome. <laughs> Our first. Our first kill look at it so I was right you do you do destroy it completely yeah this is very good nice nice job done awesome awesome so if you destroy the reactor the whole thing blows up and you cannot salvage anything oh shit we're getting we're getting we're getting shot no who's this dude bottom feeder hold on wasn't this dude bottom feeder the one that we just killed how many bottom feeders are there Eliminate bottom feeder, receive payment. Okay, so we can we talk to no wait, can I talk to the ship? To the station? Hail. So I can't talk to the station if I'm too far away. But I have a destroyed engine. How am I able to turn the ship with a destroyed engine? Can we destroy this dude? Come on, turn around. Turn. Turn. <laughs> Surprisingly, our ship is pretty resilient, apparently. Come on, shoot. Fire those big guns. Pew. Speed this up a little bit. Man, this is so awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, so it it broke this tile away. And this poor little guy is trying to fix the engine or whatever he's doing look at this dude they're just they're hauling little pieces of whatever energy i think how is it going to reach the engine he can't reach the engine oh he's he's bringing ammo to the guns does this gun fire now that it has no more ammo let's see hold on i, I, I gotta see this i'm gonna pause it does it have ammo Alt statistics, let's see. Laser damage. There's no ammo here. I'm not seeing any ammo. It's an it's a laser burst, and obviously it doesn't have ammo. But those guys are holding something. Can I see what they're holding? Corridor, hotkey, Z. What? What what did Z do? What did I do? I'm pressing Z and I'm getting this thing. Ah, it's movement. Okay, never mind. Just moving. Okay, let's let's finish this dude out. This time I'm gonna try to just take out. Wait, auto saving. Good. I'm gonna try to take out its in, uh, its engines and see if it still explodes like that. Pew pew. Awesome, awesome sounds. Look at this dude. Look at the effect. Wait. Another enemy? How many enemies are there? No, they're not. We're safe. We're good. This eye is kind of ah. You can you can click the eye. Does it work like this? If I'm zoomed in, I click the eye. Or if I'm really zoomed in, like maximum. So the eye is kind of point. I don't. I don't get this feature. Why did you have this eye here? It's weird. Uh. Let's finish this guy out. Okay. Look at this little space space dance going on. I don't have to do anything, which is cool. Oh yeah, so that that gun that doesn't have any more uh, this gun doesn't have any more uh, access to it, and the little guys cannot uh, cannot bring the, the the little green fuel cells. I guess they are. And uh, it ran out of power. I guess that was energy. So energy guns don't have ammo, but they have energy. So, cool. uh, should I stay here until this guy is dead, or? Uh... 
I'm not even sure why am I doing this. Maybe I should just... Do I always have to completely destroy a ship? Can I not like salvage stuff here? Oh! Okay, getting paid. Let's read that. After completing all the missions objectives, you will usually have to return to the original station to get paid. Once you have arrived back to the station, hail again. You should then see a list of any completed missions you get paid for. To get paid, click on the mission and then receive payment. Wow, this this really didn't require a whole whole page of explanation. Okay, it's better having it than not having it. Right? Let's see, gathering and salvaging material. So I didn't do the salvage on the first guy I killed. I wonder if the, the loot is still around. Destroyed ships will drop valuable materials which can be used to repair and upgrade your ship. Any repair, uh, remaining pieces of destroyed ships can also be salvaged for additional materials. What? You can use to repair... Okay, yeah, I got that. Any remaining pieces of destroyed ships can also be salvaged for additional materials. So you're saying the same thing twice? Or... I, I don't get it. The collect... To collect and salvage those materials, click the gather salvage button. Oh, the pickaxe. The, the new world pickaxe. I just did I just did a video on, on gathering iron. I, I gathered a lot of iron to make that video. I don't I don't wanna gather any more iron. Uh, collect salvage those materials, blah blah blah. Anything you want to collect and salvage your ship's crew will automatically collect the materials and store them in your ship. If you have storage, I know there is a storage mechanic in this game. I'm not sure if this ship has any storage. Do we have any storage area here? Storage, but okay, so we do have to Alt, let's see, is it empty? Uh, meters, storage, four stacks, weight, four tons, hit points. I love the stats, so many stats, I love it. Crew speed, 50%. I guess that's... Okay, so crew speed is the speed of the crew while traversing that type of room. Very interesting, so you can... The way you design your ship also matters, corridors matter. Good. And airlock. Oh my god, you also have airlocks. Crew speed, 50. I don't know what's the point. Allow crew to enter and exit the ship, such as to pick up resources or transfer between ships. Oh. Ah, I'm like, what? What is this? It's like 20 minutes in the game and I love it already. Amazing. Good job to the devs. Uh, got it. Hi, tutorial. So, here's the pickaxe. Modify the design of your ship to make repairs to it. Can I repair the... Hold on, let me let me pick up the... Before we get into this menu here, let me pick up the... Debris. Can I see what I'm picking up? Steel? Is this copper? It's coil. Steel, steel. It's a little bit hard to notice what's going on here. Small thrusters, opa. Hyper coils, can I pick those up? If I if I play if I resume the speed ah hold on armor can I salvage salvage everything what's going on here uh yeah what what am I supposed to do there's a little dude is this the enemy dude is this like the the enemy guys they ejected oh little 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 drone came out of no this is not a drone this is a crew member they came out of my ship and they are gathering the stuff oh look the little guys are going they are going to the reactor to the reactor core and they are picking the, the batteries and they are taking them to, to rearm the, the guns and i guess the the little uh, the little bar, the green bar, is the actual energy of the weapon. So how how well it's charged. We're gonna we're gonna have to fix we're gonna have to fix that uh, that area here, uh, which is blocking access. I think this guy is coming towards us. He smelled uh, he smelled our blood, our engine oil, our fumes. Flying through space, we are wounded. Maybe I should actually repair my ship. So those guys only collected. Can I do this? Oh, I can. Good, good. This is very good. 
I was worried I'm gonna have to click on all of them. Let's try this. This guy is definitely coming in closer. But to, yeah, he's coming towards us. No? No, he's not. He's going, he's going this way. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you better run, bitch. You better run. What's up with this line here? I don't get this line. This is weird. Why is there a line like this here? What does it mean? What is the meaning of the line? Hmm. I wish I could just disable all those lines somehow. Just have to watch a whole bunch of lines. Also, the little guys you know, came out of the ship and they are tearing, uh, they are tearing the enemy ship apart. This is awesome. Let's see. Control M. Add the name with custom marker. Hmm? Can I put a marker here? Meow. Ah, this is so. Uh, this is so hard to notice. Why is it? Why? Ah, stop, stop, stop. How do I delete the. Uh, I delete it like this? Right click to delete. Okay. Guys, you, you can make the marker like more obvious and, and bright. If, if it's a micro marker, you need to be able to notice it. So just don't make it very small and gray against the background. Just makes sense. Uh, Something is coming towards me. Some grey stuff. A meteor. I have no explanations for these, right? Was it L key? Wait, what did I press? It's the mission key. You know what? Let's go get paid for that. Are we done? Hold on. Uh, how do I get back to my ship really fast? Um... So I have a repairing your ship quiet. Let's be careful with this. When your ship needs repairs, a red repair button in the lower left will appear. I, we're gonna have that, that red icon for a lot of time. Uh, to repair a single part that is damaged or destroyed, let's click on it. That's it. To repair your whole ship, click repair all. This is what... I'm sorry. Repairing uses materials. If you don't have enough, then you might not be able to repair anything until you gather or buy more. When you're done repairing, click the red X button and press escape to exit build and repair mode. Okay. Says <laughs> the game says go go click the, the, the wrench button to repair your ship and I'm going to click the color icon instead. Yeah, we'll get to coloring later. So, uh, okay, this is complicated. So we have 66 pieces of steel, 18 coils, and nine hyper coils. Okay, coils and hyper coils. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see, energy weapons, projectile weapons. Can I make these? Missing blueprints. Ah, cool. You have blueprints. Ooh, flak battery. Heavy laser, disrupt an iron beam. Iron beams. Only a couple of weapons right now. I imagine there's gonna be much more in the final game. Uh, those are thrusters, control room, bridge. Look at that, that's a huge bridge. Engines, crew quarters, power, production. Ooh, so we can build our own. We can build our own missiles. Oh. Nukes, oh shit, we're getting into the heavy stuff. Storage, utilities, tractor beam. Actually, oh, mining laser. See, this is why I couldn't do anything to that uh, asteroid. It's good to know. Structure. Okay, so. Mirror mode, this is for editing. Blueprint mode, interesting. What's this? Grab tool. Ah, so you can move stuff around. Right. 
and I apparently I marked them for repairing as well. Uh, what did that guy said? The tutorial said to how do you repair everything? I should have paid attention to the instructions. Repair all. I don't have enough materials. Okay, so first thing first, we were going to repair the boots. Good. And then we are going to repair this hole. Because we need to be able to insufficient. Oh my god, the, the final the final amount of resources I managed to fill up that gap. For some reason I cannot repair this hole, but good. What else can we repair? Can we repair this? No. I'm just gonna take everything. Okay, it's not bad. It's it's not a hard uh, hard system. But I imagine if the ship is really big, this is going to be a problem. Just just give me like 40 minutes to click every single cell in a gigantic ship. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, you could imagine just clicking repair all, but if your ship is really big and you don't have enough resources, then you'll have to go around clicking everything. So I can see this might be a problem. What we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, upgrade your ship. To upgrade your ship, click the wheel. We don't have anything right now. I guess we'll read it anyway. To upgrade your ship, click click the wheel button in the lower left. You can upgrade your ship while under fire from enemy ships, obviously. To add a part to your ship. So I don't get this, this green stuff. I get that some, some sort of underline, attention, attention, emphasis, whatever. Select it in the box below, then left click on your ship where you want to add it. I don't have any resources. To rotate a part before adding blah blah blah, you can rotate it like repair construction uses materials. Okay, if you don't have enough, any additional materials will be automatically purchased from the nearby station if you have the crate and the station has the materials in stock. Do I have to be next to it? Is there a minimal range? Or can I just do like repair in the middle of upgrade the ship in the middle of nowhere? Continued to pick up a part, move it, move it somewhere else. We already already figured that out. To remove a part, drop it in the trash bin. Do I get the materials back? You will receive a full refund. That's good. Full refund is cool. Very good. Uh, made a mistake. You just click on undo button and press Ctrl Z. Perfect. See, easy, easy peasy. This is, I mean. Blizzard, Blizzard should should be taking development hits from the trains from those guys. Yeah, make make life make life easier easier for your players, not harder. It doesn't make any sense to make her life harder. Uh, when you finish upgrading your ship, click the X button and escape the building. Awesome, perfect, nice, that job. Uh, it's so annoying in some games you play something. Oh, you cannot remove it. Oh, you cannot undo. I'm sorry if you want to destroy it Oh, we'll have to give you just only half of the money or the resources back. Why? Why? Just convenience Convenience makes uh, user experience and I should I should make a quote out of this uh, Yeah, we're done here. Let's go back to the base. How do we just escape? Uh, do I have to repair again? No, it's queued. Okay. So the ship doesn't seem to have lost any speed, even if the two engines were destroyed. I'm not sure if that's intended behavior or it's just because the game is primitive right now and it's early access. I imagine that if there's a mass, a weight in this game, I imagine that it's going to be a factor. So if you, you have a very heavy ship, you will have more power. And if you lose engines, it's, it's going to be slower. We'll have to see. I hope that's the case. It makes sense. Okay, let's see. How much time do you have on this recording? Oh, 40 minutes already. Okay, we'll give it... Uh, we'll give it... Uh, Ten more minutes, and then uh, just making a let's make it like a full full hour uh, first impression video. Uh, model L. So we are here now. We need to fugitive bounty on favorite. I wonder what happens if I leave it on favorite and I continue. I aban no abandon. No, we're done. 
I received payment. Give me money. Why don't you give me money? What do you want me from you? Money. Give me money. Ah, I had to hail it. Thing. Ooh, our first mission done. 2500 credits. So rich already. Uh, so there's a bunch of uh, bunch of kill missions, right? This is a toothpick. It's a different ship. Bottom feeder and toothpick and peccadillo. Okay. Oh, this is already crossed out. Did we finish this? It just says it says eliminate free pirates, and we did. Score free kills? Was it free kills? Yeah, it, I think it was. Was it free kills? It was. I'm pretty sure it was only two kills. Maybe I'm wrong. But I mean, I guess it's free money. Can we do this? Can we? Why is it crossed out? I don't get it. So we picked the mission, which was already done. And now we're heading the ship to the station again. Free money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll have to watch the video again, but I'm pretty sure I killed only two. Uh, fugitive to speak class vessel. Okay, can we do this clear asteroid field? Pirates have constructed several station defenses. Uh huh. The mining companies are put a bounty to the blah blah blah. Asteroid field with those defense platforms. Ah, okay, so this is not a mining mission, this is just a mission to destroy a bunch of platforms not interesting so i guess we're just gonna clear our story field is it the same thing yeah it's the same thing so i guess we'll stick with killing small ships let's accept those uh, small missions we do we're gonna do two more two more uh, sm small missions okay one of them is for a toothpick and the other one uh, maybe try this one peccadillo Peccadillo. Your ship's crew. Uh, to view the, the inside of your ship, click the interior toggle button. Uh, I think I, I found this earlier, right? This one. Okay. Crew operate your ship by managing weapons, piloting, and carrying supplies. The more crew a uh, ship has, the more effectively it can be run. Part that doesn't have any crew operating it will have a red crew icon. Okay, what's this thing? Fire extinguish. <laughs> this is awesome. So there's there are three beds in this crew quarters, and then this is the captain's quarters. No, it's the crew bunk. Ah, uh, auto saving again. I thought that the captain is there. Is there a captain here, or are they all? Wait, is there a bridge? Where's the bridge? This this is the bridge, right? Cockpit. Ah, okay, we're gonna pause this. Cockpit allows the ship to fly and coordinate its weapon by providing plus 50 command points. So this is cool. So the, the cockpit or the bridge provides you command points and then you spend the command points on modules. So it kind of balances out the ship so you don't have, uh, you don't just throw a trillion guns and modules on the ship. Smart. A part that doesn't have any... Okay, we read this. When building, pay attention to how far a room is from the crew, power, or munition it needs. Farther distances mean power munitions will be delivered more... Power and munitions will be delivered more slowly. The green path lines will turn yellow, and the red is, is farther than recommended. Aha, uh -huh, okay, 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 okay. So the crew, the crew, look at these guys. So the crew hangs, they hang out around the quarters until they are needed. So then they just move along the shortest path that they can take towards the module that requires their presence. In this case, earlier we, we saw them running around between the reactor and the guns to, to provide the battery for the guns. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting because you can just, if you have a poorly designed ship, like if you are 
for whatever reason you create a corridors around the edge of your ship and then they get destroyed your crew cannot access the compartments and they cannot be repaired or uh, resupplied very strategic design uh, becoming famous uh, yes we're becoming famous you car your current fame is playing your top right corner underneath your credits as your def as you defeat enemies and complete missions your fame will increase it will never decrease uh, unless I've, I've seen a bunch of missions that say that I'm gonna lose fame uh, and as your fame increases more people will want to join your crew more crew is always better so do they just come out of nowhere or do I just buy them as you become more famous you will soon stop earning fame from lower level ships and missions defeat and complete higher level ships and missions to keep increasing your effort good nice thrusters okay this is the question I had add Add thrusters to increase your ship's speed and maneuverability, as ships with too few thrusters cannot fly. Uh -huh. Thrusters propel your ship in the opposite directions. Okay. The speed and maneuverability of your ship depends on the number of location orientation and size of its thruster. A speedy maneuverable ship has many thrusters in a variety of locations and orientation. Yeah, I saw, I saw online some dude that made, made a ship on the exterior and then had a big hole in the middle and he put the thrusters on the inside facing each other so that's an exploit I, I don't like that it's kind of cheesy I, I hope they fix that uh, it's it's really cheesy hiring crew before you can hire more crew you need to build more beds start by clicking the build button right here I don't have any mats maybe oh yeah because it's going to pur purchase the mats automatically I had a crew bank Cruise bank or cruise quarters to increase the maximum number of crew you can have on your ship. We'll also want doors. Yeah, yeah, doors are nice, especially when they're not transparent, uh, so that your crew can walk between rooms. Airlocks allow your crew to enter and exit your ship when salvaging, mining, and transferring resources. The crew meter displays the number of crew on your ship, and the vertical green bar indicates. The recommended amount. Ah, so you're understaffed if you don't meet that green bar or whatever. Fine, let's. Oh, there's more. Hiring crew. To hire more crew, hail the nearby station and then click the hire crew tab. A list of everyone willing to join your crew will be displayed. To hire an individual, click the hire button or click the hire max button to hire as many as possible. You will pay a one-time fee in credits for each crew hired. Okay, so you're basically purchasing them. You're not really hiring them. You're, you're buying slaves. Uh, be careful not to fly away before the crew you hire able to fly uh, to and board your ship. Oh, okay, so you have to wait for them. The hiring fee increases as your crew grows and increases as your fame. So you're paying, the more crew you have, the more you pay for them, but is this like all the crew you have on all the ships, or is it just the crew you have on this ship? Because I know you can have multiple ships, so how does this mechanic work? I, I would have preferred to see sort of a uh, upkeep costs. That would be much more interesting, not, not buying the crew, but actually paying them wage so that if you make a very big ship with a lot of crew that means that it has higher maintenance so you have to counterbalance the the investment that would be more interesting from a game gameplay perspective uh, all crew have the same abilities and are equally needed at all jobs so hire whoever you want yeah okay maybe they, they will fix this in the future and make it more interesting it's it's not that interesting economically speaking uh, got it. Okay, so we are done with the tutorials right now. We can just uh, try to do one more kill mission. We have more time. Let's see. What's the time? 50 minutes. Yeah, so we have a little bit of time left. We can kill one more uh, enemy. But before we do that, let's go into the uh, menu and fix our problem. Because we have, we have problems. Oh, so this is the door. Oh, nice. Uh, good. So we fixed the ship. Now let's see if we can build something. I would like some protection because I don't have any protection. We have defenses. This is armor. 
And I have some very nice sloped armor here, although I don't think it matters. Uh, you know what? Can we? Ah, so you cannot build here. Not connected. Can we add more connections here? Click. I'm gonna create a. I'm gonna create a. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Call those uh, hammerhead, hammerhead sharks. We made a small hammerhead here. Let's protect the guns. How much do they turn? They turn quite a lot. Right? They turn all the way around. So if I put a thing here, will this block anything? Is this going to be a problem? You know what? You'll be fine. It's okay. Okay, we'll put another one here. There we go. We have. A hammer, hammer head with spikes on its head. Uh, so we're done there. Uh, let's hope we don't get shot from behind. Can we get some sort of shield? We cannot get anything. We don't have any blueprints. Repair all. Oh, okay, so the airlock was still broken. We're done. Uh, how much it, did it cost us? I didn't pay attention. I still have 9,000, so I started with 5,000 and I did the mission for like 2,500, 20, I think, or 2,500. So, now I have more money? Okay, this doesn't add up. Uh, but we're done, this is it. Press B, fuck it. Uh, let's go do a mission, let's do this one. Fugitive bounty, no, peccadillo, let's, let's do peccadillo, dude. Peccadillo. Is very far away. Something closer. Something even closer. This one. This is a close, close dude. Can I do something here? I cannot track the mission from here, which is a shame. I have to go into menu to track it. Not optimal. Uh, but it's fine. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Speedy. Go, speedy. Look at this. Man, I love the effects. Look at the engine effects. Look at this fire. Awesome. And the small embers that are flying around. Awesome. Just amazing. Love this. Honestly, as a personal opinion, I think that the little guys running around are eh, a little bit cringe looking. They could use a better design. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, even, even if your game is top down, you don't have to make the the little characters be seen from the head because if if you watch a person from the top there's not much to to draw especially in this small size so it's fine if you do a body seen from horizontal uh your mind just goes beyond that it's fine you, the best example of this is rimworld so maybe you should consider that there's uh, I know that you're not hearing me, but maybe in, in case you, you do hear it, that would be a good idea. I know this is how, I think FTL does it the same and a bunch of other games does it, do, do it like the same. But look at this, it looks weird, it just looks weird. And honestly, I, f I feel they are a little bit too large. I don't know, it's maybe just use the heads, display the, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Uh, I'm not a fan of how they look. It's just a personal thing. You cannot please anyone, so everyone. So. Uh, okay, this is taking too too long. Let's speed it up. Uh, and you have like the small view of the of the ship in the corner. Funny. Oh, there's an object here. An asteroid. Okay. I know that uh, there's a possibility to uh, like play economically, play industrially, so you mine stuff and then you build stuff. I'm not really sure. Uh, I hope it, it. I hope the developers make the game more uh, uh, more uh, economically focused, like X4 is. I would really like to see this uh, become like a 2D action-packed version of X4 uh with uh, the same economical depth okay this is a this is combat right here and i think uh i think we're gonna be engaged by two enemies at the same time this is bad what kind of ship is this 
Uh, oh shit, it has two guns. Ah, not good. Let's take out its guns. I can't tell if uh, I cannot tell if uh, the guns the guns have 100% accuracy. I can't. Do we have an accuracy stat? Let's see. A highly accurate version of okay. So there is an accuracy. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing a uh, accuracy rating. Yeah, I don't see an accuracy rating, but it has turret speed. So if it has turret speed, I imagine it involves tracking speed. So maybe it affects accuracy. I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, we took out a gun. Now we're taking the other gun out. It was very smart to place those uh, that armor because Ooh. no more gun. Can I just drive around him, shoot him from? I mean, it seems like for every combat, the ship just face each other and just spin around. Uh, hopefully. The final game will have more maneuvering tactics than just facing and shooting. Uh, I would really like to see some build opportunities for massive uh, battleships that just turn their broadside in the last moment and just give you like fire barrage. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Why is this green? Can I can I take over it or wait? Is this destroyed already? Did I destroy the bridge and it's dead? Wait a second. <gasps> oh my god, I did. I, I somehow I managed to destroy the bridge? And the whole thing is dead. And I can just... Can I look inside it? No, I can't. And this, sh this game is going to be amazing when, once they implement boarding. Oh, awesome. It's so awesome, it makes me feel like going back to X4 and playing some more X4. I haven't played X4 in a while. I've been playing New World. Uh, I love the game, but uh, it's not good for YouTube. If you're a small YouTuber, eh. uh, But I do, I do enjoy it, so I'm probably going to finish going all the way through the new area that they just launched and uh, uh, maybe do all the content. Probably if there's nothing else, maybe move on to something else. Uh, this one looks great. This 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 game looks great so far. Um, I really want to want to explore uh, in the in the future video. I want to explore the building mechanics and playing around with uh, all the modules that we have available. Maybe we'll go into the infinite uh, uh, system because the career. Let's face it. Right now, there's not much content in the career mode. I don't expect to get much out of it. Uh, and obviously, it's not balanced economically. So I don't think it makes any sense to continue a full career right now but i would definitely like to explore the building uh, we'll, we'll go into that uh what, what's going on here oh i'm paused okay never mind uh i still don't get what what's up with this line is this the path i took when i came back i guess it must be right uh oh wait we also have to fix our ship yeah that's a good idea ah we lost the gun Hmm. I should have built another laser. I didn't. We have lasers here. An automated defensive system that shoots down enemy missiles and projectiles using super heated. Can you shoot? Can you use a point defense system to shoot down enemy lasers? I don't think it says projectiles. I'm guessing it's not going to work. But I don't really like that the gun guns are so close to each other. Let's try to fix. Can I move it and fix it? Never mind. Okay, let's try to move things around a little bit. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna just move this. Uh, we don't need this corridor here. Can I switch it to something else? Where's the armor? I want armor. Uh, here. Armor. Take the armor. Come on. Take the armor. And put it here. 
And let's do a nice front. So it looks nice. And uh, how do I spin it? Do I have to press R? No, it's not R. It's... Ah, man, one day. One day I promise I'll pay attention to the manual. Undo. Save ship design. Very nice. Load chain from PNG. Oh, so this is where you can... Ah, man, we're gonna have some fun in the editor with my pixel art ships. Yeah. Uh, utilities. Is there a toilet here? It looks like a toilet bowl. Uh, how do I rotate things? I wanna rotate things. Oh, it's right in front of me. Period and comma. Period and comma. There we go. Nice and pointy. Pointy, pointy head up. Pointy end up. It's a little, it's a little uh, uh, reference there. Standard thrusters cockpit. Okay. So I was going to place. Oh, I don't have. Am I missing a? No crew access. Hold on, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have crew access. Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna move. We're gonna move this gun. For forward. And I have to... Ah, so this is... So it does have crew access, even though it's placed on top of armor. Okay, where's the corridors? Is it under utilities? Uh, no, no, no. Bunk, hatch. What's this? Moving walkway, <laughs> like the airport uh, bands. There's always some dude that has a big, big, uh, like, uh, bag and sits on the walkway. And then you regret taking the walkway. Ah. I don't I don't get it. Where where's the where are the, the, the corridors? Come on, they have to be here somewhere. I mean I know it's late, but it, I shouldn't be failing to, to see them like this. I have structure. What did I do? Did I just... Ah, why did you... Why did they put the corridors on the side? Why are they separate? Hmm. Ooh, look at those big guns. Large cannons. Deck cannon. Deck cannon sound. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Deck cannon. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with the deck cannon. Laser. Why is it prohibited? What? what? Auto save. Ah, it's 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 flipped around. I have to to, to flip it. Comma, comma. Insufficient. Nah, come on. What? We need two more. Ah. Okay. You know what? Let's kill something and get there. Uh... No, we have things here. We have resources right here in the. No, not here. Not this this car. <laughs> this, 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 there are no resources. We will not salvage the cars on, on the road. Hurry up, dudes. Hurry up, little dude. Look at this guy, he has tiny little lasers. He's cutting his stuff out apart. Awesome. And my ship already looks cooler. Much, much cooler now. Uh, you know what? I have some, some ideas. Uh, hold on. Uh, there's a dude coming in. No, nope. this is the, the red guy I have to kill. Ooh, he's right next to us. Quick, little dudes, get back inside. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous situation for you. You shouldn't be outside. There are wolves. There are wolves around. Okay, let's flip this thing again. Near a screw. It's yellow. Good. So we have all the guns. Good. That's it. I, I wanted four guns. That's all I wanted. We're good. 
good. Let's uh What happens if I run away and leave my little dudes out? Let's see. Can I leave them behind? <gasps> oh shit, I can. I can leave them behind. Okay, no, wait. See you. Is this like see you? What's see you? It's copper? No, it's not copper. It's cool. Cool. Let's see you. I guess it's something. Uh, let's go intercept the the baddies. Let's kill the baddies. F E. Okay, so this is this is iron. I know that. Okay, and cool. yeah, it's it has to be copper and iron. Good. Ooh, so he's already fighting someone. Wait, what's going on here? <gasps> Small camel platform. What? Why is this red? It belongs to who? Can I see who's the owner of this faction? This is a weird looking platform. Maybe I should just let the dude kill them. And I will take advantage. No, stop shooting him. I want to kill the platform. Kill the platform, please. Please kill the platform. It will be helpful if you just stop moving. Can I, can I tell the ship to stop? Can I control the ship manually? Settings, tutorial, let's see, mission, blah, 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 oh shit, controlling, controlling time, flying your ship, controlling the camera, ooh, so much stuff that we didn't do, I'm not seeing, abandoned ships, interesting, so I, I oh, direct, direct control, I, I saw direct control, there we go. The flare shift forward. While using the air control mode, the camera will be locked to your ship. Where the ship will for or left, right, strafe. We have strafe. Fire your weapons by clicking the mouse button. The weapons will automatically target any ship near to the mouse cursor. Press OK. They didn't tell me how to activate the direct control mode. There are many options for customizing direct control mode of flight and camera in the game settings. OK. How do I turn it on? That would be like very important to know. We don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not paying attention. Maybe it was written on the screen, but I didn't read. Okay, let's just kill this thing. Ah, no, 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 no. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh no, no, we're getting out. We GTFO, GTFO, GTFO. Ah, ah. There's no way to dodge anything. Ah, and I'm showing their, I'm showing them the engines. Oh, I actually dodged it. I, I dodged a, a small uh, sub over there. So apparently you can dodge stuff. Interesting. They have a big panel. Let's take out. It. So okay, let's unlearn. Those platforms are very hard to defeat. They are very tough platforms. No, he's shooting me. No, no. Oh my god, my ship is destroyed. Almost destroyed. Stop shooting me, shoot the other guy. So I'm using... Uh, I wish my ship wouldn't approach the enemy all the time. No, stop shooting me, shoot the other guy. You know what? Why am I even... Wait, just run away. No! I'm dead. This is... This is a suitable ending for our video, our first impression video. I have no idea what to do now. We finished our mission, we eliminated Toothpick, but we also died in the process. Uh, and apparently Sam Dudis is here and they are salvaging, they are salvaging my ship. Is this an enemy dude? Yeah, he's an enemy dude, I think. And my guys are trapped here, so I still own it, but I don't have any control system. Can I repair it? Can I? Can I really repair this? Let's see. Insufficient. Insufficient harbor coil. Okay, so maybe if I had another ship, I could bring the other ship here to rescue this one. Maybe that's the way. And this guy, this little dude, cannot enter. In, he cannot enter the ship because there's no more airlocks. I wonder if they die after a while. Do they have like life or needs? Like, oh, do they need to breathe? Yeah, everyone knows that slaves don't need to breathe, so it's fine. Okay, that was it. Amazing game. 
I'll get back to it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.